the happy dragon. They were trudging over a cold, grey, craggy hillside. The tops of the surrounding mountains were lost in the mist. Sarah plodded drearily behind Jamie, clutching her shawl tightly around her head to keep out the persistent drizzle of rain. As they reached the crest of the hill, they saw a cluster of huts below them. Great! Maybe we'll find a bed for the night. And some supper. Let's check the place out. Good idea. So they trudged on down the hill. Outside one of the huts, they found a stocky, dark-haired boy feeding some chickens. Not with her. Ha! Ah, help! What's he saying? It's Welsh. We must be in Wales. Uh, hello? Hello. You're not from round here, are you? No. We've been walking a long way today. We couldn't stay here tonight, could we? Surely. Come inside. Oh, thanks. My mother was just making some soup. You're very welcome to join us. There'll be plenty to go around. Brilliant. Thank you. Come this way. Hello, Mum. Ah, there you are, Owen. I was looking for you. Supper's ready. Is it all right if my friends here stay for the night? Of course. Make yourself at home. My name's Kerry, by the way. I'm Sarah, and this is my brother, Jamie. Come, sit yourselves down here. Thanks. The soup's just ready. Here you are. Mmm, smells good. Here, have some bread with it. <clears throat> Has Owen told you about our sheep? No. What about them? Well, they're disappearing. Soon we'll have none left. How come? Nobody knows for sure. But all the homesteads around these parts are losing sheep. We think the dragon is taking them. The dragon? What? You mean the one with wings and breathing fire? That kind of dragon? What other kind of dragon is there? Wow. Can we see it? Why would you want to see it? It'll gobble you up. you better keep well away from it. Sometimes the knights from King Arthur's court ride out here to try and find a dragon and kill it, but so far they've had no success. Why don't we go and look for your lost sheep? Then maybe we'll get to see the dragon as well. Oh, you'll think differently in the morning. Come on now, it's time you got some sleep. Remember what I said now? Steer well clear of the dragon. Be careful. We will. Don't worry. Do you think we're doing the right thing? I don't fancy being a dragon's breakfast. We'll be OK. You'll see. Come on, race you to the top. Jamie! <laughs> What is it? Keep down. Don't want it seeing us. Don't want what seeing us? Look, over there. That animal with the long tail and the long nose. Dancing about in the grass. <gasps> it must be the dragon. Sounds like it's singing too. Now I've seen everything. A dragon went to hunt a knight. A gentle, tender, tasty night. He went all aha. Uh oh, I think it's seen us. I reckon we should make a run for it. Better not. We wouldn't stand a chance. We'll have to talk our way out of this. <laughs> Don't suppose you're a knight by any chance? Afraid not. And this wouldn't be your lady, would it? No, we're just a couple of ordinary kids. I'm Sarah, and this is Jamie. Pity. 
I could just do with a nice night for breakfast. You wouldn't happen to have any food on you, would you? Well, we've got this stuff Owen gave us. Hmm. What have you got? Bread, uh, cheese and apples. I'll have to do... Oh. Uh, you weren't supposed to eat the bag as well. Was none? Sorry. Never mind. It doesn't matter. What are you two doing out here on the hills, anyway? People usually run away when they see me. Uh, we were looking for sheep. Oh, yes. Yeah. You've lost them. Go on, ask me how I know. How do you know? Because everyone round here is losing sheep, and they never find them again. Why not? Oh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about it, would you? Hmm. Shall I tell you? Well, go on, then. Hmm. All right. As you gave me your food and you've been very nice to me, perhaps I will. By the way, my name's Geraint, in case you were wondering. Oh, I didn't realise you had a name. Of course I've got a name. Everyone's got a name. Just because I'm a dragon, people think I don't exist. They think I, I haven't got any feelings. They run away when they see me. Oh, they send a knight to fight me. It was a hard life being a dragon. Sounds awful. And it's very unfair. Because I'm only a little dragon, really. My mum died when I was a baby. And I've had to fend for myself ever since. Oh, please don't cry. We'll be your friends. Promise? Promise. Less friendly. Why don't I help you find your sheep now? I thought you said we wouldn't find them. Ah, not without my help, you wouldn't. Everyone thinks it's me taking their sheep, but it isn't. Not even a big dragon could eat all those sheep. What do you mean? We're only looking for eight lost sheep. It's not just your sheep. All the villagers around here will be losing sheep. Soon everyone's going to come hunting me in. And I'll have to find somewhere else to live in it. I didn't do it. Oh, it's not fair. Here, have my shawl to wipe your eyes. You better show us where these sheep are. Follow me! Hang on a minute! Wait for us! Look at all those sheep. The whole hillside's covered in them. Who could need so many sheep? Or a castle that big? It's gigantic. Exactly. Who do you suppose lives in it? A giant. As clever you are. And it sounds like he's a coming. Just freeze. With any luck, he won't notice you. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the breath of a small person. <laughs> Two small people, if I'm not very much mistaken. Can't we find somewhere better to hide? Too late, isn't it? Two tiny ones. Bite size each. <laughs> a delicious little order. <laughs> you come with me. Ah, ah, Jay! He's lifting me up! Ah! Jamie, are you there? He's got me too! I'm in his left hand! You must be in his right! What are we gonna do? Shut your eyes and hope he'll be over soon! <laughs> put us down on the table. But it's as big as a football pitch. <laughs> That's better. Back in my own castle, in my own chair. What are you? Humans? You're very tiny, even for humans. Uh, we're children, sir. <laughs> What's that? Speak up, I can't hear you. I said we're children! Oh, child humans. Just my luck. There won't be much taste to you, then. Uh, well, I'm too tired to think what to do with you now. Perhaps I'll eat you. 
<laughs> Perhaps I won't. Yeah, I know. I'll set you a task. If you can do it, I won't eat you. Oh, great. Don't try and escape now. My cat loves a tasty morsel, but she never jumps up on the table. So you'll be safe as long as you stay where you are. <laughs> no chance of getting any sleep round here tonight. Oh, I wonder what this task is going to be. We'll find out in the morning. Humans, two tiny, bite-sized humans. I remember now, I said I'd set you a task, didn't I? And you said you wouldn't eat yeah. us. Oh, did I? Well, maybe I won't, but only if you can do the task. You can plow up the barley field. By lunchtime. <laughs> Trouble is, it's just a little bit overgrown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! A bit overgrown. It's all covered in prickly bushes. Ow! Oh, we're never oh. going to do it in time. Too bad. Just get on with it. And don't Ow. try to escape, or I will eat you. <laughs> Where's he gone, then? Geraint! Are we glad to see you. We've got to plough this field by lunchtime. Or it will be his lunch. A problem shared is a problem solved, isn't it? Just stand back and watch Geraint. <gasps> wow! He's breathing fire, just like a real dragon. Wicked! Good, isn't it? It's not often I get a chance to do this sort of thing. All the trees and bushes, they're on fire! Trees. But we've still got to plough the field. Trust Geraint. All that smoke will bring our ploughing team. Knights in shining armour. Knights of the Round Table. They're forever searching for dragons to fight. We don't want to disappoint them, do we? Hey, where's he off to? Over here, gentlemen. Do you think he'll get caught? Doubt it. Look what he's doing. He's flying in front of them so the horses will keep following. And they're ploughing up the field at the same time. Now that is clever. Well done, Geraint. You were brilliant. It's well and truly ploughed. So the giant will have to keep his promise. Giant? What giant? The giant who lives in that enormous castle over there. He was going to eat us. A maiden in distress. A maiden in distress. To the castle. Uh, get it out. Get it out. What have they gone up for? Never mind them. You've got me to look after you. Are oh, they useless? They are those knights. Only good for ploughing fields. <laughs> See. <laughs> Any chance of going back to the village now? With the sheep? Oh, yes, the sheep. How many was it you wanted? Just eight'll do. I'll fetch them. Watch me! Oh, 
This is Owen's hat. Owen! There you are. I've been so worried. I thought you might have met the dra. Ah, ah, see, ah. I told you. That's what they all do when they see me. It's all right, Owen. This is Geraint. He's harmless. Pleased to meet you. He's very friendly. And he helped us bring your sheep back for you. He helped you to get my sheep? Yes, and it wasn't him taking all the sheep. It was the giant. The giant? Oh, you don't need to worry about him. There are lots of knights at his castle right now. They'll keep him busy for a long time. You say all the knights are there? Yes, so there aren't any of them free to fight your dragon for you. We could try making friends instead. Well... Um... He can be quite useful. He's very good at ploughing and herding sheep. Doesn't he eat them? To be honest, I don't like sheep very much. I prefer bread and cheese and apples. And bags. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I could light your fire when it goes out. I'll have to ask my mum. Maybe we could adopt you. You could protect our sheep from the giant. And you could protect me from the knights. I ought to be protected, you know. I'm an endangered species. There aren't many of us dragons left. All right. Oh, Owen, soup's ready. Come on and have some supper with us. Can I come? Why don't you go and take the sheep to their field? If Kerry sees you, she'll get the fright of her life. We'll tell her all about you. Oh, all right. <sighs> See you later, good night. Saving some of that soup. in The Happy Dragon is taken from Schubert's Fifth Symphony. In the first movement, the cellos play echoing phrases to the lively opening violin tune. The second melody is a graceful tune played by the first and second violins and repeated by flute and oboes. We hear music which mixes the scampering tune of the introduction with the first melody. second movement, the violins again play an important part. First, they introduce a gentle flowing melody, which is echoed by flute and oboes. After new music, we hear the first melody again, but now with beautiful new harmonies and elegant decorations. The 
music becomes more unsettled as agitated lower strings accompany a duet for first violins with bassoon and flute. in the third movement begins powerfully with wind and strings playing the opening of the first tune together. In the second part the strings and wind echo each other playing the melody. The trio opens with a beautiful song-like melody for violins and wind. The fourth and closing movement begins with a playful tune, again for the violins. The second theme is in the lyrical style for which Schubert is so well known. As the symphony draws to a close, the music takes on a curious eastern flavour. Schubert is full of surprises. And then the work ends joyfully and with optimism. are just some of the highlights of Schubert's Fifth Symphony. You're bound to discover more every time you listen. <laughs>